Su comida, señor. Partner, this better be good. La familia Jesse del Campo te invita a gozar el sabor original del viejo México. Todos gozarán la comida mexicana más fresca y deliciosa en Lawrence. Hay una forma de complacer una pandilla hambrienta. Restaurante La Tropicana, 434 Locust en North Lawrence. What is your opinion on this OJ watch? Are you real? Yes, we are. Okay. Touch me. All right. All right. Here it is. You can hold on to it, look at it, and just tell us what you think. Just your reaction. You don't have to have any reaction if you don't want It's cute, but I don't get it. I'm not really electronic. What do you think? It is, it's very, it's cute. Oh, it's OJ. Oh. Right. It's what? It's OJ Simpson. Oh, my. The police? For over 30 years, music lovers have flocked to Keith's for Keith's unbeatable combination of selection, service, and savings. Now, Keith's makes an offer no one can match, an offer you can't refuse. Tuesdays, 25% off compact discs. Yes, Keith's has compact discs for 25% off each and every Tuesday. And yes, we still have everyday low prices, unbeatable selection, and service seven days a week. Come see us, Keith's, 2429 Iowa. Buildings by an apparent chemical leak. News Channel 4's Doug Scheimel has kept you informed with live reports from Lawrence all afternoon. He joins us now with the latest, and Doug, we still don't know what the chemical is. Yeah, exactly. A lot of students could have sworn it was natural gas, but according to KU's police department, they say that is not what it is. But whatever it was, it was finally <laughs> the uh, KU Malott Pharmacy building. And that is one of five buildings evacuated after 10.30 this morning when students started smelling a very strong chemical odor. That odor apparently spread very quickly through under underground utility tunnels to at least four other buildings, making it very, very tough to pinpoint the source. And the girl next to I started getting kind of sleepy. We didn't know what was going on until like five minutes before class was over. And they sounded the alarm and we left. And when we came out, we all felt a lot better. But for a while, it was pretty bad. Now, Malad Hall is going to reopen first thing tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., but KU officials say if you were forced to leave any personal belongings in any of Malad's classrooms or labs, you may go back, contact KU security, and they will personally escort you up there to get those belongings, but no classes there until 7 a.m. Harry?